Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyler here and we have our first rebuild of NBA 2K20. I figured there's probably nobody in the league that people want to see being played with more than Zion Williamson. So here we go. Zion Williamson, New Orleans Pelicans rebuild. We got a crazy stack team here. Lonzo, Drew Holiday, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Derek Favors. But before we get any of this, I ask you guys to please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new here to the channel. We're going crazy with the 2K content. I already have my team videos up. We're going with the rebuilds. We're going with some my career as well. We're going to be doing all of this. If you guys enjoy the channel, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,500 subscribers. I can't do it without your guys' support, so please go ahead and support the videos. Let's get into the rebuild. So like I said, we got Lonzo, Drew Holiday, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Derek Favors, JJ Redick off the bench, Josh Hart off the bench, Jackson Hayes, Kendrick Williams, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Etwan Moore, Jalil Okafor, uh, Nicolo Melli, Frank Jackson, Darius Miller. We have a super stacked roster here. Um, as far as I'm concerned, on the fly lineups. Oh, that's right. That's a new. That's a new feature. Um, but so before we get into anything, what I'm gonna do is send Jackson Hayes to the G League, and probably Nikhil Alexander Walker to the G League, and then if I can, what's what's Nicolo Milli's uh, potential here? Let's look. Uh, 77. Yeah, we don't really need to send him to the G League. Um, then what I think I'm going to do, let's go to coaching game plan. Rebuild. So we got Lonzo, Holiday, Ingram, Williamson, Favors with Redick, Okafor, Hart, Etwan Moore. I'm going to see if we can pick up a free agent here and see what we can do uh, just to kind of give some more depth. Um, let's look again. We have two shooting guards on the bench. We have no we have no backup point guard. We need a backup point guard, honestly. So let's go. Free agent. Backup point guard. Darren Collison retired. Sean Livingston. Ah, oh, there aren't really that many great options here, to be honest. Jerry and Grant wouldn't be bad, but Um, I'm gonna go with Sean Livingston, I guess. I could go. I you know let's see if we can sign. No, we can't sign him. Um all right, so I think I'm just going to go with this roster for now. Lonzo, Holiday, Ingram, Williamson, Favors, Redick, Okafor, Hart, Etwan Moore, Melly. I don't know how good we're going to be, but what I do know is Nikhil Alexander-Walker and Jackson Hayes are about to be a couple of gods next year, even if we're not that good this year. And really, I just want to play with Zion. So let's simulate some games here. Let's see if we can get into the playoffs. And uh, at some point, I'm going to have to jump in and play with Zion. But... We'll see where we we'll see where we end up here. Uh, coach game plan. Let's go. Um, let's go play through. Uh, no, let's do pick and roll offense. Shoot at will. Uh, crash offensive glass. Limit perimeter shots. Play physical defense and crash defensive glass here. And let's see how this team plays with Zion. Better have rookie of the year or it's gonna be a bust. As far as I'm concerned, let's go. All right, guys, season's over. Giannis wins the MVP. Zion, rookie of the year. Let's go. This man averaged 22.8 points, 10 rebounds, 2 assists, 1.5 steals, 1.2 blocks. What a beast. D'Angelo Russell, your sixth man of the year on the Warriors, which is crazy. Kawhi, DPOY on the Clippers. Marvin Bagley, most improved. That's my man right there. And we got Doc Rivers, coach of the year for the Clippers. We have nobody on NBA first team. We have nobody on NBA second team. We have Zion Williamson making on NBA third team. We have nobody. We have Drew Holiday, all defensive second team. This team was kind of a beast team, guys. Not going to lie. Uh, this team really uh, knew what they were doing out here. And it's obvious because they were 53 and 29 during the season. So let's go ahead and check out some of those player stats. Zion Williamson, like I said, averaged 22.8 points per game. Uh, 10 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 1.5 steals, 1.2 blocks. I mean, just f absolutely filling up the stat sheet. Um, Drew Holiday, 17.4 points, uh, 6 assists, 1.5 steals. Brandon Ingram, 14.7 points, uh, 3.6 rebounds, 2 assists. JJ Redick, 14.2 points, 2 assists. Derek Favors, 10.6 points, 
9.7 rebounds. There's one guy I'm not seeing here. Joloka for Lonzo Ball. 7.4 points, 5.4 rebounds. He did have 10.4 assists, but those points are kind of weak. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Lonzo should be able to do more than that points wise. Um, but yeah, overall, 53 and 29. We made the playoffs. Fourth seed in the West. Kind of crazy. But, uh, you know, considering there's so many good teams in the West, they're all going to be beating each other. And it probably you probably won't need that many wins to make it in the West Conference. Because consider, you know, there's so many good teams. They're all going to be beating each other. No one's going to be have, like, 60 wins where it's, like, ridiculous. Nobody can catch that. Like, in the East, there's a bunch of trash teams. The Bucks and the Sixers can just wreck shop on everybody else and both get to, like, 60 wins probably. But, um, yeah, that being said, here we go. The Clippers, uh, I wonder what the Clippers, how many games Clippers won? Oh, it was 63. I saw one doc, one coach of the year. So, yeah, we only have 10 less wins than the Clippers. Not that bad. And uh, we'll see what we can do against the uh, Trailblazers here. Let's go ahead and simulate the round. You can force win a game. It's kind of crazy. All right, let's simulate the round. Here we go. And the Trailblazers win the first one. We win the second. We win the third. Trailblazers win the fourth. We win the fifth. Uh oh, Trailblazers win the sixth. And we beat the Trailblazers in seven. Let's go. About to play the Clippers in round two, though. I'm going to go to Simcast for that one because that one might be a little sketchy. Here we go. And Clippers are blowing us out to begin, but not by much. We can definitely make a game of it. Um, yeah, and we're making a game of it, and we make a comeback. Very close game here, going into five minutes left in the fourth quarter. It's anybody's game, and we lose by two points. That stinks. All right, here we go. Game two in LA still. Zion's got to show out here in the playoffs. Will he show out? It's still a very close game here. No one's blowing anybody out. It's exactly what we want for the Pelicans. If they can just stick with these teams... It'll be amazing next year for sure. And yeah, we lose that one. So we got to get both W's at home for sure. If we lose one of these, it's pretty much over for us. Uh, here we go. It's halftime. We're up. Basically, we're not up. It's tied. And Clippers pull away in the third quarter. Not looking promising for us. And uh, we're probably going to get swept here by the Clippers. We're in New Orleans though, so hopefully not. And come on, come on, come on. Get the W. Get the W. No, we're not getting the W. It's over. It's over. So we get swept by the Clippers in the second round. I'm okay with that. Time to get to next year. Zion's going to be a lot better. We're going to have Nikhil Alexander-Walker. We're going to have Jackson Hayes. We're about to be dominant next year. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to the draft lottery. I don't remember if we have any picks we picked up from somebody. Um, Pelicans via Cleveland. Yo, we got, the, we got the Cavs pick? How did the Pelicans get the Cavs pick? Am I forgetting something? What happened? I don't remember. You guys let me know. In the comments okay so the, I guess the Cavs pick went back to the Cavs we do have the 14th pick from the Hawks though it looks like I could be wrong but that's what it looks like yeah so let's continue staff signing Alvin Gentry let's go ahead and fire this man Alvin Gentry let's get a better coach in here let's go with uh, Let's go with the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour. Jacob Underwood, he's always been the GOAT in 2K19. Let's see if he can be the GOAT in 2K20. Now let's get Barrett Trainer out here. Fire Darren Bishop. Let's get our man, Randy Martin, the other man of the hour. The other man that's too sweet to be sour. Both these dudes are the, were the GOAT in 2K19. We'll see what they can do in 2K20. Um, staff signing, okay, yeah, we're done with that. Catch up scouting. That's I like that. I like that they're going more in depth with the scouting this year, guys. I really think that's cool. Um, Lamelo Ball. Um, I don't know who we're gonna draft. To be honest, we'll see what happens. Uh, Pre-draft workouts. Just a skip to the draft. Same draft layout as last year. It looks like. Let's just send a user pick. We have the 14th pick in the draft. Hopefully, there's somebody nice here for us to pick up. Um, it looks like it's mostly made-up players. Because, you know, there's not a ton of great uh, draft drafts out there right now. I'll just go with this dude, Ivan Baryak. I'll take Ivan Baryak, if that's his name. I don't know what his name is. Okay, let's send him to the end here. Um, 
Send to the end. Rookie signing. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Team player options. Here we go. LaMelo Ball, Alonzo Ball, and Josh Hart. We're getting both those guys back. And uh, qualifying offers. Kendrick Williams, Brandon Ingram, and Frank Jackson. It's time for us to pay Brandon Ingram. Don't really know if I think he's worth it, but I don't think we have many other options. So let's just pay Brandon Ingram. Um... I mean, we could just wait for him to get signed by someone. Well, he does have offers, few offers. Just, Brandon Ingram just has one-year deals? Are you serious? Bro, we can get him back on a one-year deal? No way. Do we need to offer him a contract? Five years, 130, I, I mean, that's weird. If he's restricted, he has 14 offers. We have his bird rights. Nobody's paying him top dollar. Couldn't we just get him one of these contracts? Why would I offer him a contract? That wouldn't even make sense. I hope I hope I don't lose him somehow. Bro, we just got Brandon Ingram back for 3.82 million. That's some cheese. Player progression. I'll just deal with the centers in a minute. I'll just sign a center. Uh, Zion Williamson, LaMelo Ball, Drew Holiday, Jackson Hayes. Jackson Hayes is at 83. I don't need a sign in center now. That's amazing. Brandon Ingram's in 83. Nikhil Alexander Walker's at 81. So between Jackson Hayes and Nikhil Alexander Walker, these dudes both gained uh, 18 skill points or 18 overall points between the two of them in the G League. That's kind of crazy. Um, let's go ahead and continue here. Summer League, uh, let's just go straight to training camps. Let's get these dudes some training camps. Now I'm going to pick the free agents, see if there's uh, anybody, you know, any free agents left that I need to fill a roster spot. And we're about to win 60 games next year, at least. All right, so we're at training camps right now. All the training camps look exactly the same from last year. We're going to go ahead and give a perimeter shooting to uh, Zion Williamson. He probably needs that the most of anything. And literally all we have this year is a mid-range shot and a three-point shot. There's no moving and all that. It's all in one, so that's nice. Uh, he only goes up two, two skill points for each, though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give an untapped potential to Brandon Ingram because I feel like he's stuck at 83 forever. Now let's give another untapped potential to... Let's go Jackson Hayes. Let's make Jackson Hayes really good. I think that will help us the most in the long run. Let's advance to next season here. And yes, I do want to sign some people. Oh, Dan, it just made me sign like some randos. I didn't even look at, get to look at free agency. I meant to press no. Uh, all right, let's look at some free agents here, though, and see who we have. Tristan Thompson. Can we afford Tristan Thompson? I will sign Tristan Thompson in a heartbeat if we could afford him. We can afford Tristan Thompson for one year. I'll take it. Okay, so we just got Tristan Thompson. That's 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 a nice pickup for us. Uh, so we're going to have Lonzo, Drew Holiday, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Jackson Hayes, Nikhil Alexander Walker, JJ Redick, Josh Hart, uh, Ivan Bogorok. No, no, not about that, but we got Tristan Thompson now. So let's go ahead and reset that. We obviously got the same five. Nikhil Alexander Walker, Tristan Thompson, JJ Redick, Josh Hart. We feel like we need one more guy on the bench. I don't think this Bagarick guy is going to be it, to be honest. Uh, let's go to our roster. Let's find Bagarick. What's his potential? Maybe I can just play him and he'll be good like halfway through the year, but I kind of doubt it. 75 overall. Ooh, 81. You know what? Maybe. I'm going to keep him and give him some minutes. He might turn into something. Um, let's go... Take three away from Hart and three away from Redick. And four away from Tristan Thompson. Give it to this dude. And we'll see what he can do with it. We'll see... What he, oh, let's give him 10 minutes. And let's give uh, Hayes 29. We'll see what that guy can do with those minutes. Um, and then let's go to... Good shooters open. Shoot at will. Crash offensive glass, limit perimeter shots, play physical defense, crash defensive glass here. And let's see what we can do in terms of, uh, I mean, I'm thinking 60 games here. If we won 53 last year, we have a better roster this year. There's no reason for us not to win at least 53 ga or 60 games. But, you know, it is 2K, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, season's over. Anthony Davis wins the MVP, which, as an honorary Pelican for this video, I am very disgusted. Uh, LaMelo Ball, Rookie of the Year for the Hornets. That's interesting. Uh, Colin Sexton, sixth man of the year on the Cavs. Kawhi Leonard, DPOY once again. Most improved goes to Aaron Holiday. Uh, Lloyd Pierce, coach of the year of the Hawks? The Hawks won 61 games? Really? Okay. 
Okay, so hold on. So nobody will NBA first team. Nobody will NBA second team for oh uh, Zion will NBA second team, my bad. Um so Zion was second team again, but didn't get any awards. Wow, okay. And then let's go ahead and skip and skip and looks like we don't have anybody. Okay, uh old rookie goes to Jackson Hayes and Nikhil Alexander Water Water? Walker both. Um so let's continue and yeah, so we were the first seed in the West, guys. 59 wins, 23 losses. Uh, let's go ahead and go to standings. And we had, you know, the first by far, you know, four four wins ahead of second place. Um, but what I'm really curious to see is the Eastern Conference, the Hawks. 61 wins. Wow. Trey Young, Malik Beasley, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins. Oh, they traded for Andre Drummond and DeMontis Sabonis. And they still have Kevin Herter and Cam Reddish and Jabari Parker and Doug McBucket and DJ Augustine and Wesley Matthews. Oh, boy, that team. Okay, wow, that's kind of... I don't know if we're going to be able to beat them if, even if we get to the finals. That's crazy. Um, wow, okay, so let's check. Let's look at our team, though. Let's stop drooling over the Hawks. Uh, player stats. Zion, 24.6 points per game, 10.5 rebounds, 2.7 assists, 1.1 steals, 1.1 blocks. Brennan Ingram, 15.7 points, 2 assists, 3.5 rebounds. Uh, Drew Holiday, 15.1 points, 5 assists, 3.4 rebounds. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, 13.7 points, 14.9 rebounds, 4.2 assists. Lamel or Lonzo Ball, 10.4 points, 9.6 assists, 6.1 rebounds. His points went up a little bit. I'm glad because he shouldn't be scoring like less than 10 points. That's dumb. Uh, JJ Redick, 10 points. Jackson Hayes, 9.3 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 1.1 assists. Tristan Thompson, 5.3 points, uh, 9.5 rebounds. I really like that Tristan Thompson pickup. It was a little overpriced, but for one year, it's it's worth it, I think. Um, so we're about to play the Suns in the first round. Let's just go ahead and simulate the, simulate the round here and see what happens. The Suns could be pretty good with Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, and all them, but I think we'll be able to handle them. Let's do it. So, uh, Pelicans win the first game. Pelicans win the second game. Pelicans win the third game. And we sweep the Suns. Round two, we're going to be playing the Lakers or the Rockets, and we're playing the Rockets in round two. That could be a little tricky. Russ and Harden both. That's going to be a little crazy, but we'll see what happens here. Let's go ahead and simulate. Um... Okay, so Pelicans win the first, Pelicans win the second, Rockets win the third, Rockets win the fourth, we win the fifth. Uh-oh. Coming down to a game seven here. I'm going to go to SimCast, and if this is if this is uh, close, I'm going to jump in it, because I want to play with Zion, but it looks like it's a blowout. We're on blowout city right now. Yep, okay, so we're definitely going to make it to the next round. That's beautiful. Okay, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we're playing the Warriors in round three, which obviously they got D'Angelo Russell coming off the bench. So I think we're going to be in pretty good, uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be all right for us, but we'll see what happens here. They were able to, you know, who knocked us out last, last year? The Clippers? And the Clippers uh, got beat 4-1 to the Warriors, but I don't know. I don't know if that really, I don't know if we can really apply the triangle theory to this. So let's just go ahead and simulate it and see what happens. Uh, let's just simulate by game though, because I'm kind of nervous. Uh, oh, you can't simulate by game anymore? That's annoying. Okay, that's that's something new in 2K20 that they took out. Okay, so simulate round, I guess. Uh, Pelicans win the first game. Pelicans win the second game. Pelicans win the third game. Warriors win the fourth, and we beat them in five. And we're playing the Hawks in the finals, just like I thought we would. I'm scared of this team, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. You guys know who they have. You guys know who we have. Let's let's duke it out right now. Here we go. Simulate, and we are beating them in Atlanta by a lot. Like, that's crazy. Like, we're killing them. I mean, they're, oh, they're making a comeback, though. That team's too good to, to sleep on them. But it looks like we're still going to come out here with the dub. Team like next game. Here we go. Bro, can we, can we get the sweep on the Hawks? I would like to think so, but I don't know. It's not going to happen. That Hawks team is just too stacked. And uh, it's looking like they... I mean, we could win this game still, though, but it's not looking promising. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a destruction. Okay, so we're 1-1. Not too bad. We're in New Orleans, though. If we can get both these Ws, take it to a 3-1 series, that would be beautiful. Uh, let's see what happens. And it looks like we're definitely going to get this W for sure. Um, yeah, we're definitely getting that W. And then let's simulate to next game. Here we go. Only one point game, though. You know, we, we were winning pretty good, but then they came back in the end there. Uh, simulate next game. Here we go. And we are killing them. About to take this series of 3-1. Wait, let me make sure. I would hate to, uh... 
Oh, you can't go back? Oh, I guess you can't go back, huh? Well, yeah, it's going to be 3-1. I just want to make sure I don't mess up and not play with Zion. But, yeah, it's going to be 3-1 now. Okay, so see my next game. This is it. We could win the championship right here. Let's do it. We're in Atlanta. Are the Hawks going to win on the home floor, or are we going to pretty much destroy him here? Let's see what happens. Um, it looks like it's going to be close. Do I dare jump in? No, we're getting killed. So it's 3-2 series now. Uh, we should end this. I don't know why we wouldn't. But, you know, the Hawks team's good. Ooh, what did I just do? Simulate, simulate SimCast. Okay, here we go. We're in New Orleans. Bro, we can't... Oh, we're getting killed. Really? Wow, we're getting destroyed right now. Come on. Make the comeback. Make the comeback. Make the comeback. Wow, we just got absolutely annihilated by the Hawks. That's gross. Okay. All right, so here we go. We have choked uh, the lead we had. It is now a 3-3 series, and we are going to play in Atlanta. Don't feel too good about it, but uh, it is what it is. So time to just see what happens. Hopefully, we don't get destroyed here because um, that means we choked, and that would suck. So here we go. In, it, in the ATL, and we are beating them, but it seems like they always make a comeback. The CPU always makes a comeback. The CPU always makes it close. So it doesn't really mean much. And it is a close game. I'm going to jump in. We're ahead by two with four and a half minutes left. Let's see what Zion can do. Good D. Stopping him at the rim. Drew Holiday. Bro, I'm going to see that Zion shot release. What's it feel like? Zion. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Zion getting around him. Zion doesn't care. Zion's got 36 points. 14 to 22 shooting. And 11 rebounds. What a beast. Zion with the 36. No. Ooh, if I would have got there half seconds soon, that would have been a block. How do you run a play for like a specific player or like tell someone to post up this year? It seems like they changed the controls on that. Maybe it's with the D-pad now. Yo, Zion's 3 of 8 for 3? His 3-point rating must be pretty good now. It was like 77 last time I upgraded it or something. Aw, oh, bro, if he makes that, it's a miss. Zion with the rebound. What a beast. Zion to Drew Holiday. Pop that. Money, let's go. Zion. Oh, that would have been nasty if you made that. Yeah, I don't know how to call. Like, how do you, like, remember 2K19, you'd press L1, not bring up the player symbol. Then you could, like, say, post up Zion Williamson. How do you do that in this game? Zion. Hit that. Great release from Drew Holiday. Let's go. I don't understand. It's almost like you can't call that play unless you're playing, unless you're, like, that player. I'm sitting here trying to figure out the controls here, and I'm getting destroyed in the process. Positional play calling. Oh, okay. Bro, Zion Williamson's got a floppy? Really? Oh, pass it to Jackson Hayes. No, Jackson Hayes, you idiot. Okay, well, now I know, now I understand. Oh, Jackson Hayes. Hit that three ball. I know you got one. Oh, that's a brick. See, so now I understand. Now I gotta try not lose this game. Now I was messing around while I had the lead. Zion, put it up. Oh, bro, really? Zion getting his own rebound. Look at that pad and his stats. What a beast. Zion with 40 points and 40 rebounds. What a man. One thing I do need to try here is uh, a jumper with Zion. I haven't felt with his jumper. Uh-oh. It's only a one-point game. I want to run a... I want to run a... Oh, man. I want Zion to set screen for me. Zion. Pump fake. Let's go baseline with Zion. Whoop. Oh, zigzag cheese with Zion. Let's go. More free throws. Sabonis, he's out of there. Oh, how do you miss that, Zion? No. We didn't really thought one. His free throw doesn't feel that bad. That's what's crazy. I want to try a jumper with him. Okay, here we go. Game winner. So we can go there. No. L1, R1, triangle, low post for Zion. Okay. Although he didn't go in the low post. All right, set me a screen, Zion. Zion, hit that jumper. Zion Williams it with the jump shot. So he does have a nice jumper. Obviously, he's better in my league than he's going to be on like just the Pelicans roster and play now. But still, though, he's got a nice jump shot. It's a little wet, as the kids say these days. Zion would just be a free safety for whoever they pass to. Get up in his grill. Nope. No way he makes that. There you go, baby, and there you have it. In just, well, I don't know, I held up a three. Two seasons, we are able to win the championship with the New Orleans Pelicans and Zion. 
Zion drops 43 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists in the deciding game. That's amazing. He's got to be the MVP, right? The Finals MVP? Oh, and we get to see the championship celebration. We have not seen it. Did they change it in 2K20? I highly doubt it because they didn't change much about my league in 2K20 here. But we're about to find out. Here we go. Jackson Hayes holding up the title. That's kind of a weird choice. Hope he's not Finals MVP too somehow because of his stats. Oh, they did change it. And Zion wins Finals MVP. Okay. Okay. I like. Ooh, they got champagne bottles now? Yo, that's sick. I like this championship celebration. This is different. This is. I like this a lot. Yo, they're all taking pictures together. That's beautiful. Almost brought a tear to my eye. All right, guys. Well, that's the rebuild. If you guys enjoyed the rebuild, make sure you go ahead and give the video a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here to the channel. Uh, we got more my team content, more more rebuilds, my career videos on the way. You guys don't want to miss out. And we got a giveaway going on. Uh, make sure you go ahead and check a couple videos back for my uh, giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two copies of NBA 2K20. Uh, one on this channel, one on the Sacktown Breakdown. And then I also have four Amazon gift cards I'm giving away. So if you want to buy some VC or you want to buy... 2k on a discounted price because you got $25 towards it, whatever you want to spend it on I'm helping you guys out so make sure you guys go ahead and stay tuned to all the videos get information on the giveaways and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching I love you